Oh, I got the three meter flatty! Oh. Hey team, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube channel. If you want to see more fishing action just like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey team, nothing like fishing a wall with a current in the tropics. We've got a big show on today. Here's what's on the lineup. We pull out the light rods and reels and hit the creeks and rivers for some flathead fun. A spooky situation, what do you do when you come across a ghost crab pot? And we head back to the Calliope River for some tropical fishing. Today we're fishing the Gold Coast Canal Systems for the Gold Coast Sport Fishing Club Top Gun Flathead Shootout, where members of the public can bid to fish with their favourite angler. And today I'm fishing with Blair and Ollie Wilcott from Medimax Products. With over 450 kilometres of canal systems winding behind the Gold Coast, it's a playground for many fish species. And today we're targeting flathead. We are in only five feet of water, so it's a little bit different here. Drag's good. Now the idea of the fish up here is they're not going to snag us, so we just let them run. Okay, otherwise they'll pull, pull out if you go too heavy. The key to success when targeting flathead is to keep on the move. When the tide starts to move, so should you. Under the bridges and into the canals. So same deal, just two jigs, yep. back down. And you do it, keep it fast. Yep. All right, so don't sort of like lull around with it. When you get it, say, 20 feet off the bank. Yep. Yeah. I would, yeah, I'd give it a crank back in. So you want to be fishing not out here. Do get a few fish out here, but you're going to be fishing the banks. Follow the bank, yep. Yep. And as it as it heats up, back it up a bit. As the water heats up, the fish are going to come in shallower. Shallower, yep. Okay, because it'll go up by one or two degrees. That's exactly what Blair did. Cast up into the shallows, two twitches, and he's on to an absolute cracker. Okay, wind. No, okay, okay, wind. Okay, wind. Yes, sir. Beautiful. We got it. Good retrieve, pal. That's what it is. Yeah, that's it. Nice job, boys. That's a quality fish, man. 60? Is that 60? He's uh, bigger than that, mate. So this is the flathead that the guys have just caught there. Now, Blair and Ollie, it was, a, it was a double jointed effort, but I tell you what, it's absolutely brilliant working these canal entrances, working where the junction meets, and that's the most important part of fishing. Wherever you are around the world, whether you're local, interstate, national, overseas, if you find that current line, they're going to find fish. It's a simple part of life where something's getting flushed out with the current, it's going to form an eddy, turbulent water, and that's going to be the supermarket for fish. Where you go and gather your groceries, the fish are going to head to those spots and wait to ambush any smaller fish that's been sucked out by the current. That's exactly what's happened here. We're just going to quickly measure this fish up. We'll get a photo and we'll submit him straight down onto the competition app. Well, he wasn't over 60 centimetres, but he did make 56, and that's 56 points to our team. So the idea here is that lure, as I was showing you earlier, is ideal. It's just that 1 8 jig hook, a 2-0 size hook. It's nice and light. You don't want something too heavy that's just going to keep bouncing onto the bottom. And we're just working the retrieve here. Now, the guys have got the retrieve down pat, so we've caught a few smaller fish and obviously this bigger one. But the gulp three and a quarter inch prawn is an ideal lure here. Uh, and also squidgies in the 65 and 85 mil fish and, uh, and uh, worm tails. These here, working these banks is absolutely brilliant. So we'll get that fish back into the water. Use a trustworthy hat when you haven't got the glove, but nice one. Good one, boys. 
You want a photo, champ? Have a look at this. He's arched his back up. He's got that lure down his gob here. So when you're doing the retrieve, it's really important just to flick the actual slack of the line so that lure is just bang, 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 bang across the surface. You want to get about three, maybe four inches per retrieve. So bang, 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 bang. And as that lure bounces across, it gives them time to smash it. In current areas or an area where there's a very large flat with lots of drop-offs throughout, you're going to give it that whip, bang, bang, bang. Two to three, bang, bang, bang. One, you're covering more ground at a quicker rate. But in these areas here where it's really enclosed, the most important thing I can say to you at home is to do very shallow, slow retrieves, okay? Not a lollipop retrieve, that ain't gonna work. Erratic, but short, bang, 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 bang. And the fish will come up and smash it like that. In you go, champ. Beautiful. Good job, team. How good's that, eh? So the, the idea here is just keep that rod tip always loaded, no matter what size the fish is. There you go, Ollie, come around here, buddy. Here he is. There you go, he's gonna shake his head in the net, net under the water, and lift up. Good one, champ. Good one, buddy. Once you get your lure out there, there's a couple of fish. Again, catching flathead can be a lot of fun, no matter what size they are. And even a fish of that size puts a bend on the rod, and for the kids, it's fantastic. And I can, a little bit of a secret for you, even as an adult, I don't mind it as well. He's not a bad little fish, but uh, measure him up, and get him back in the drink. With the use of an electric engine, it'll keep you steady in the current, but having that remote control, it allows you to focus on the fishing. Have a look at this number here. Now these mustard uh, lip grips, they float, you drop them in the water, you can pick them back up. So that's ideal. If you lose something over the side, you wanna make sure it floats. So I just open them up, Get this fish in, hold him like that, or her like that, I should say. Up she goes. Now, you really want to control the fish as well by putting your hand under the belly, just like that. This fish here measures at around 64 centimetres. Not a bad fish whatsoever. And have a look at that small jig head right at the mouth there. And you can see it's hooked absolutely brilliantly. And again, as I was saying earlier, finding those locations where the fish will be, the bait, and what looks fishy, if there's a tidal influence that's pushing out into a mainstream, you gotta think about it. That's where the fish will go. They're just gonna wait, lay. So it all comes down to just patience at the same time. So get amongst it, have a bit of fun, and there's a few more tips for you. I'm gonna let this one go, and I'm gonna sign that we hit the road. Hey, I've gotta say thank you, Blair. Ollie, been a pleasure fishing with you, boys. All right, thank you, Paul. We'll enjoy it every minute. Thank you very much. Now here's some tips to catching flathead. A light two to four kilo spin combo, a variety of plastics and jig hooks, 12 pound fluorocarbon leader, cast the shallows on high tide and work with the current. Anyone home? Oh yeah, there's a couple oh, full of that. Wow. Okay, so if you come across a pot that's got lots of weed on it, that's got no bait, it's been absolutely left here for quids and you're walking in the shallow water. Well, there's a dead crab here. So we call this a ghost pot. So crabs will just continue and fish to go inside this and they can't get out. 
So what I'm gonna do is just release these crabs and I know this is no one's pot. There's no name tag on it or anything. So we're just gonna open it up and get these crabs out. Come on. <laughs> there you go, they're all out. And a little fish. You can get it yourself. Unbelievable. We're just looking at barramundi sitting here on the screen. You can actually see the definition of the fish. It really takes the guessing out of the game when it comes to fishing. But traveling around the country and internationally fishing in areas where it's so remote that even the locals have never seen a watch or, or different parts of, of clothing from the Western culture, that even in those areas, the fish may not even bite until 1.12 in the afternoon when that moon changes, the tide changes. So you know what, that could be the case today, but we'll give it a crack anyway. So Justin, this area here, mate, it's really changed compared to where we were initially. Yep. Uh, at the boat ramp, it's really sort of become more like a like a golf and carpenteria sort of system. Yeah, yeah. So we're still up in the uh, Calliope River. This is the, called the Anna Branch section. So right. it just does a big loop around back yeah. back into the system. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's awesome. It's mud banks lined, little drains and nice mangroves. Screams fish. Screams fish. Unbelievable. What have you got there, Justin? Nice blue salmon, mate. We'll just quickly... Uh, hey, what a cracker. Downsized to the little prawn. Yep. I actually saw some big barra on the other side of the boat, so I was burning it back in. Yeah. And this guy just come and crunched it. So, so what are you running there, mate? Like PE 10 gear, or what have you, what you, <laughs> what you got on there, buddy? <laughs> oh, it's a 30 pound uh, outfit, this one. A little but, bit up. These areas are notoriously known for metre plus barras. So yeah, look, you've got you to know, go a bit heavier, don't you? 100%, and that's exactly what I was looking at just then. Yes. And um, this little guy's just nabbed. It's actually quite a nice blue salmon. He is a lovely blue salmon. What do they like to eat, mate? Really nice. Um, they're great. Very strong flesh, very fatty and oily, but um, okay. really nice, like Taylor Fresh. Right. So that'd be, um, that guy would be pretty nice on the table if you got a, a couple of them. Yeah, nice, but, work, um, yeah, nice really nice clean flesh. They're a beautiful looking fish. Yeah, aren't they? Yeah, nice big mouth too, so narrow eyes on the head, so yeah, they're, yep, they're quite yep. a fast active fish. Yep. Eyes right up at the fore, fore to the head, so they're really um, yeah. built for speed and built for attacking. I got the three metre flatty! <laughs> Oh, hey! <laughs> you know what? When you drop down a prawn anywhere around Australia, that is the gun bait along with a squidgy. You're going to come up trumps with a flathead. Even if you are in the tropics. Barrow would be better. But anyway, fish is a fish. As you can tell by the hair, we've uh, burned down to the entrance to the Calliope River. And we're just gonna work this wall here and have a look at the coal stacks around here, the ships. This is the main, obviously, export besides the gas out here on Curtis Island for Gladstone. And creates a lot of job opportunities for many people wanting to come up to the region to live here. And of course, a good side or an upside of that is the fishing is phenomenal.
Well, that certainly was a lot of fun. And when you do come up the Gladstone, or if you are stopping off on the way through, or even a planned trip, make sure you hook up with Justin from Gladstone Fly and Sport Fishing. It certainly is a hoot, and you get to see a lot of different areas, whether it's an impoundment, or even the estuaries or the bay. But of course, with us, we came from the south, and we brought the wind with us. Until another day, when we step outside with Justin again, and that won't be too far away. What a trip. Uh, that was a great show. Thanks for joining us. I've got plenty of cars to lay in around these pylons. Until next time, we step outside. Hey team, thanks for watching the Step Outside YouTube channel. If you want to see more fishing action like this, remember to like, comment, add, subscribe. Keep up to date with what's happening in your neck of the woods and our neck of the woods. It's going to be great viewing, great watching. It's all coming up on the Step Outside YouTube channel. Take it easy.